In this one, we're going to discuss first total external static pressure for a gas air handler. In order to do external static pressure, I need to measure air pressure in inches of water column at the outlet of the furnace. Now, this is an upflow furnace, and we've got a probe stuck right in there. And that's the very top of the furnace, just below the air conditioning coil. You're going to have to knock a hole in there. You got to be careful about this. You don't want to do it up where the coil is, or you'll punch a hole in the coil, or you'll punch a hole in the drain pan. So, a little bit of problem there. That's in the top of the furnace, and you have to be careful there. You don't want to hit the heat exchanger when you're doing it. Anyway, you got to have a probe right there. Now, let's take a look at where the other probe will be. Now here's the other probe, right here, we're going into the return air, the fan's right next to where that probe is in there, and that's going to be the negative pressure. The other one was positive, this will be negative. The two of them together are going to equal total static pressure. Before I get any farther, I probably should say what external means. Okay, these furnaces are installed, field installed ductwork. Okay, there's your supply up there. And then I have a return plenum and uh, air filter and then ductwork over here. Can't see the ductwork much, but the manufacturer provides this equipment and you, it depends on the furnace. These things are all somewhat different, but most of them don't like to have external static pressure that they're put into at over about a half inch of water column. So we're going to measure the external static pressure of this system with the fan in the air conditioning mode. That's the highest speed it goes to. So let's go ahead and check this out. So what is our total static pressure? External static pressure, it's 0.51 inches of water column. 0.5 to 556, five, something like that is probably a little bit high but it's within the specifications of this appliance. Uh, I'm not sure that you're gonna get much lower than that, maybe a little bit, if you've got an air conditioning coil uh, in the system. Now here you can see that air conditioning coil. Now that is going to add about two tenths by itself. And then there's uh, the rest of the, the resistance of the duct work and the return air. So, yeah, the, that 0.5, if you're doing that, you're probably doing pretty good. Okay, so what I'm going to do in the next ones of these, I'm going to go to each individual part. I'm going to check the pressure drop across that part and see if maybe that's uh, excessive. So that'll be what we do the next time.